She's still a kid and probably as nice as she ever was. Of course, five years in the Philadelphia school are bound to have changed her some. Yeah. You'll have to stay home today, Rebel. No room for you. We're going to have passengers and baggage and stuff. Come on now. from here, they'll have to stampede on Brighton's land. Yeah, some homecoming he'll have with his fences all down and pasture all chewed up. That stallion. Looks like he's heading them back into their own valley. Let him try. With this noise scaring him, he hasn't got a chance. Blasted stallion. He's turning them after all. What are all the shootings about, Uncle Sandy? I don't know. Maybe we ought to find out. Hey, what are you doing up there? What's all the shooting about? Wild horses. They busted loose again. It's a good thing we were up there where we could see them. Yeah, they were spreading all over the Brighton place when we stopped them. Well, North, now maybe you'll sign our petition and let us round up them pests before they go over and ruin your feet. How is it that you two are the only ones who ever see the horses up to any mischief? You can go up there and see for yourself, can't you? Yeah, I could. But how do I know what they were doing before I got here? All I know is what I hear from you two. Look, friend. I don't like anybody even hitting them, not telling the truth. Yeah, you think we're lying? Isn't that something that you'd know better than I? That's enough out of you! sign that petition. Rebel, I guess you've earned a ride into town. You're real bright, you are. Swinging on them, then almost drilling them. That's all we need to lose the 10,000 we expect to get for them horses. Get him out of the way, you'd get your petition signed. You need the one that's been messing up your deal? Yeah. With all the land North owns, I need a signature. I never yet got anything signed from a dead man. Come on, let's pick up our guns. Well, we made it. Thank you, driver. Come on, 
Sally, how are you? It's good to see you. Well, Sandy, mighty nice of you to pick me up. And after five weeks in Philadelphia, I can sure appreciate home again. Oh, Laura, you remember Mr. North? How very nice seeing you again, Mr. North. You remember Ricky, don't you, Lorna? I'm afraid I was only a child when I left here. Howdy. How do you do, Ricky? I mean, how do you do? Well, I'm sure grateful Lorna's grandmother sent her back east and put her in school, but you know, she's become such a little lady now, she sort of scares me. Well, a few weeks back on the ranch will cure that. Wally, well, you've been gone, some trouble has blown up. Oh, what kind of trouble? Why don't you stop at the ranch for lunch and I'll tell you. Anything you say. Oh, what's the matter? Now you're holding up the parade, Lorna. But, Daddy, that seat's all dirty, and I'm wearing my new dress from Strawbridge's. She's right, Ricky, it's covered with dust. Uh, that's fine, Ricky. Okay, Uncle Sandy. Now, what's this about wild horses? Well, right after you left, a couple of hard case gents showed up with a petition asking the federal agent to give them permission to round up the whole herd. And they got some of the ranchers to sign it. Well, that's a new one. Why? Well, it looks like the horses have been getting off government land, breaking fences, and grazing on private pasture. Well, that'll be reason enough. Why do you say, looks like? Well, you know how they never did it before, how Champ has always kept them in their own canyon. Yeah, but there's always a first time. And wild horses are not the cattleman's friend when they start eating on his feed. Well, I have an idea these two might be behind it, but I can't get any proof. Yeah, well, what do you want me to do about it? They'll come to you with a petition. Don't sign it, will you? Well, not unless I'm sure. But, Sandy, you're not being influenced by uh, Ricky's feeling about Champ, are you? You know better than that. And I'll say it again. Champ can beat any horse, any distance, and with a hundred yards head start. Prove it. I dare you. I would, if I had somebody to race him against. You would? Well, then what about racing me? <clears throat> Race a girl. It so happens, Mr. North, that this girl rides well enough to have won two blue ribbons at the Chestnut Hill Horse Show in Philadelphia. Well, we're not in Philadelphia. Let's not get off the subject. Are you going to race me? How can you race? You got on that fancy dress. I have a riding habit in my suitcase on your buckboard. And if you give me a good horse, and I mean a good one, I'd like to see what Mr. Champion can really do. All right, I'll get Uncle Sandy's quarter horse. And he won five blue ribbons. Rebel, go fetch Champion. Go on, boy. <laughs> Heavens, I never saw it. I ride side saddle. You can't get out of it that way. I'm not trying to get out of it. Because we've got a side saddle. Belonged to my grandma. In that case, you've as good as lost the race. That's what you think. I'll give you a hundred yards head start. Two hundred yards, and we'll race to Dead Man's Point. Remember where it is? Dead Man's Point. Oh, yes, it's over there. That's it. I'll go get Uncle Sandy's horse. <laughs> I just can't get over those dude clothes. You're being very rude. Well, help me up, if you know how. And where's the great champion? show somebody what a real horse is. Well, are we gonna race or not? I'll say we are. We've gotta get out by Dead Man's Point first. Hey, what's going on out here? I'm just showing Lorna that Champ can beat any horse any time. Well, in that case, I've got an idea, Wally. Why don't you take the buckboard over to your place? 
Lorna and Ricky can ride over there when they finish the race. I'll meet them later and bring the rig back. That's a deal, and you can stay for supper. Ricky, I want to talk to you. Ricky, I hope you're not intending to win this race. Boy, and how I'm intending. Even with the head start I'm giving her. Son, you might just well learn this now as later. She's a guest and a lady, and gentlemen don't win from ladies. Oh, Uncle Sandy. Look, Ricky, do as I say, and when you're through playing, meet me over at Mr. Brighton's. Yes, sir. Come on, champ. to be a lady, and ladies are supposed to win. But we could have beaten up pants. I mean, screwed off. I heard that. I think you're horrid and impossible. Patronizing me. Letting me win. But Lorna, wait! I... Oh, no, honest. You do something you're supposed to do, and girls... Well, they act like girls. Come on, champ, if that's all the thanks we get for being gentlemen, let her get home herself. Looks like Uncle Sandy might be wrong. It must have been your herd that broke through here. That's funny. Some of those horses were shod. And wild horses don't wear shoes. Mr. Brighton ought to know about this. Let's catch up with Lorna. Rebel! Mr. Brighton. Who are you? My name's Slaughter. I want to talk to you about those wild horses. Are you the fellows with a petition? Why, yes. Well, let's have it. I don't have to be argued into signing it. We're glad you see it our way, Mr. Brighton. I'm seeing it my way. My fence is down, my pasture cut up and grazed to the roots. That's what's going on all over. And everybody knows it but Mr. North. He seems to be stone blind. You leave this with me. He's coming here for supper. I'll make him see the light. I'll get his name signed right under mine. But I've seen him, Mr. North. That's liable to be quite a chore. So when I tell him what's happened to me, he'll sign or I'll know the reason why. Well, looks like our troubles are over. 
The North's name on that petition was set. We haven't got North's name yet. After what Brighton said. I heard what he said. But North's nobody's fool. He's suspicious, and he's sore. <laughs> back to the Brighton Ranch. Champ, I got a feeling she's gone and got herself lost. Maybe we better split up. Rebel, you go that way and look for Lorna. Hey, Sandy, I'm over here. Back here? Don't worry about them. They'll be all right. But I want to talk to you about this. Fast workers, those two. They got to you already. How come they left that thing with you? I asked them to. I said I'd get you to sign it. Wally, are you serious? If I was convinced that was right, I'd have signed it weeks ago. Well, maybe if you'd seen what I saw, my fences, my grazing, you'd change your mind. Yeah, I would if I was sure no one had driven the horses there just to make it look bad for them. If you were sure, the fact that I'm sure and other neighbors are means nothing. Wally, don't go blaming me because your grass has been ruined. I'm only blaming those mangy horses you keep sticking up for when my cattle are going to starve on account of them. Look, Wally, we've been friends a long time. You're sure not acting like a friend now, stalling and saying you won't sign this petition? Does that mean I'm a friend? You said it, I didn't. That's about what it stacks up to me. All right, Wally, I'll tell you what I'll do. If by tomorrow night I can't prove to you and everyone else in this valley that those horses were driven there, I'll sign that petition. Not until then. Stubborn as a mule, aren't you? Yeah, if you want to call it that. Right now, I'm worried about the kids. I'll leave the buckboard here and go look for them. You ought to do the same thing. grown clothes like that before. Those are Eastern clothes. Must be the Brighton girl. Looks like she's lost. Yeah. And if she got good and lost, it would be a sense to get Nora's signature. She's not his daughter. She's Brighton's. Yeah, but they're pals, ain't they? Look, we take the girl down to the old line shack. Then we go to North and her father. If North won't sign, then we'll crack the whip. Come on. Ah. Howdy, Miz. You lost? Yes, but I wouldn't be if it hadn't been for that Ricky North. Do you know him? Sure we do. We're friends of his uncle's, and your dad's too. You look kind of tired, and we're pretty far from the two ranches. We got a place where you could rest while we go for help. Why don't you just find Ricky? In all these hills? <laughs> he could be any place. No, you come with us. It'll be the best way. Kid, all right. Yeah. And the way he's going, he'll run smack into the shack before we can get to North. You got any ideas? Got to get him away from where he's heading. I know. We'll throw a couple of shots and then take off like there's trouble. He'll probably come like a fox after a rabbit to find out, and we'll draw him away from the shack. That looks like the pair that jumped Uncle Sandy this morning. Come on, Chef. We better get after him. Rebels found something he wants us to see. I wonder what happened. 
happened to the kid? I saw him turn and start following us. Well, he sure ain't trailing us now. You think he spotted the shack somehow and rode up there? I don't know. But if he did, all I can say is we better get there first. Come on. I got lost, and two men found me and brought me up here. Two men? I bet I know who they are. And we better get out of here, fast. But they took my horse. Oh, gee. And you could never walk that far. Walk? Well... We better get out of here. It's too late to Just don't act scared. Howdy, son. Did you get yourself lost, too? You leave us alone. Why, that's the way to talk when we're aiming to help you. If you're trying to help us, what did you do with my horse? He got away. We came back here looking for him. Why don't you two go inside while we go for help? We won't. We're not going to hurt you. On the level. You two stay here, and we'll ride down and get your Uncle Sandy. You'll get Uncle Sandy? Why, sure. Well, just as long as you get Uncle Sandy. You just make yourselves comfortable. We'll be back in no time. We'll wait a while, but if you're not back soon, we'll walk. Now, don't you worry. We won't be long. You certainly got us into a fine dilemma, if you know what I mean. If we only had a gun or something we could defend ourselves with, if they don't do what they say. Yeah. All I've got is this. That's a fine help. Well, if they got tough, I might sock them with it. You stay care, but keep out of sight. That boy might get ideas. I ride down, and if North ain't signed up yet, he will when I'm through. Look out! Here comes the kid's uncle. Cover him through the window. Hey, North, did Brighton get you to sign that petition? No, and he never will. But we got the kids up here, and though we don't need to hurt them, it's a lot less dangerous to sign a piece of paper than use your gun. Rebel! Anybody get out of that house. Swing around the house. Cover the back. He's up to something. He's out of sight. on my land. Yes, right by the broken fence. And 
it fits Pharaoh's horse, too. So that's her proof. That's right. It proves they were driving the wild herd on my land. Well, thanks for finding the kids, and thanks for straightening me out. Oh, you'd have seen it yourself. Maybe. But it taught me one thing. I'll never lose my temper again. Will you sign a statement to that, Father dear, instead of a petition? <laughs> Just arrow whizzing from a bow. Like a mighty cannonball, he seems to fly. You'll hear about him everywhere you go. The time will come when everyone. 